go. So this is the War of Cyber of Cybertron. Now, when I first watched this, I have to admit I had I had to turn it off because the the I thought the voices were wrong, the music was wrong. I grew up on Transformers Generation One. Optimus Prime was my hero. All the Autobots were my heroes. They all were. Wheeljack, Prime, Bumblebee, Ironhide, Jazz. Anyway, just all the characters were great. Jazz is missing. It's like they, they had to sacrifice some characters for some other characters, which is fine, I guess. I just wasn't a fan of that. But anyway, we'll get to that in a bit. So yeah, I had to turn, I turned it off and gave it a downvote and I actually stopped watching it for a bit because I was so pissed about it. <laughs> when I first no saw this, I noticed that the music was dull and boring. The art direction is fantastic though. And the beginning was exactly what the original plot for Generation 1 was, which was Wheeljack and Bumblebee. That's that's pilot episode one, season one, first Transformers cartoon ever. That's the beginning, is Wheeljack and Bumblebee uh, trying to fulfill a mission. And so I was like, okay, cool. They're, they're starting with the original Generation 1. I was like, wow, this is crazy. And it began with Wheeljack and Mumblebee, and they started con uh, con and when they started conversing, I was taken back, or rather thrown back. And because Bumblebee was and always has been close friends with Optimus Prime, but uh, you know, in this story, of course, he's not. He's like a you know hired gun. He's always been a strong patriot, an Autobot throughout to his core. And this is in this beginning though scene though we see we learn that Bumblebee has been hired by the Autobots to help them help them find Energon, and I wonder what they're what they're paying him. And uh, I guess it's the name of it is like Shan Shanix is the name of their of their uh, currency. It's like looks like a gold coin. Um, Wheeljack realizes that it's a uh, space bridge, and he's like, "Well, polish my tailpipe." That was kind of funny. <laughs> it's a funny line. Uh, polish my tailpipe and call me silly. Call me a silly dilly. The uh, Bumblebee, and then Bumblebee exclaims that he used to take space bridges to Velocitron, which is a desert planet that is a neighbor to Cybertron, uh, somewhat of a neighbor to Cybertron, where uh, apparently it's like all race uh, and fast uh, type of vehicles reside, or they either live there or, or you know, no, no one who is slow is it would probably survive there. <laughs> Apparently, you have to be really fast, so Blur would uh, would survive there pretty well. He'd probably do well there. Bumblebee exclaims that he used to take space bridges to Velocitron, the desert planet discovered and colonized by others eons eons earlier. It's like one of the most popular words in the Transformer universe is eons. Eons ago, we were eons ago. Trailblazing Transformers eons ago. I do, I do love how they are able to expose the history, whether recent or long ago, through discussion. So they do that a lot in this. Wheeljack and Bumblebee argue after Wheeljack can't help himself when opening up the space bridge, exposing their position to Seekers, who are groups of the Decepticons on patrol looking uh, for out for wrongdoers. You know, the neighborhood watch, so to speak. <laughs> Violent ass neighborhood watch. The music reminds me of the music from Tron Uprising, kind of, but not as good as Tron Uprising. But um, the music, it's complete, it's kind of boring. It's just, that's what I'm saying is the music from the original show is so good. And um, and the voices of all of these, of all the characters are just too close to each other. They didn't, they didn't try to vary it up or get closer to the original voice. Cause these voices are really, they were, they are burned into my brain. Like for, anyway. For me personally, that's the way it is. I'm sure that a lot of people can, you know, forgive and forget. But for me, these cartoon voices were very definitive and very specific. And for them to kind of do it, ha they were half-assed. They were. They were half-assed versions of the. I mean, and they did it with, they did it with um, um, Soundwave and uh, Shockwave. A little bit, but not enough, in my opinion. Anyway, 